all namaste so uh, today we are going to discuss about digital signature legal aspects so in the previous videos we have completed the topic of digital signature what is meant by it how it came into existence why it is important digital signature in the technical aspects how it will work and what are the benefits in using the digital signature and why the it act is giving emphasis to the digital signature have completed right so in this video we are going to discuss about the digital signature legal aspect so that we have to go back to our unjectural modal law on e-commerce so this unjectural modal law on e-commerce has been passed in 1996 okay so our india was a signatory to that convention and later on it had even ratified it and the same has been adopted into our act it act 2000 has been passed accordingly so actually what the unjectural modal on e-commerce says with respect to the e-commerce and e-signature is that whatever the e-commerce transactions which are being done by the public have to be authenticated with the usage of signature right if i am talking with you if i am communicating with you with the for the purpose of any kind of contract then there should be some kind of authentication from my side so the digital modal law of e-commerce has specified that electronic mode of signature whatever is being made that should be technology neutral so technology neutral why the neutrality is encouraged see neutrality is something which is inclusive of all that is which is not specific which is not favorable to any particular side right if you take judges we will be saying like judges should be neutral right so what is meant by neutrality so judges should be neutral means he should not favor any person same thing applies here also why because technology is so dynamic as we all know right previously if you take the example of mobile phones previously we used to have only the small phone that is nokia phone but later on smartphones have emerged and now we are completely into the world of smartphones we even we are not even typing whatever we want from the google we are just saying that in the voice right still we are getting the information right this is not, this is so much because of the technology changing technology is so dynamic such that new things are emerging continuously right. if the technology is dynamic obviously the usage will also be dynamic when the usage is also dynamic then the crimes emerging will also be so dynamic then every time whenever the technology changes every time the legislators cannot sit and make the law cannot make any amendment according to the change in the technology that's an extreme possible right so for that purpose in order to make the law applicable so easily the technology which has been specified according to the unjectural modal law on e-commerce is so much to neutral but afterwards when we have made the it act in year 2000 but our legislators had adopted digital signature which is technology specific our it act 2000 has specified with regard to the digital signature which is made up of using a particular system which is called as asymmetric crypto system if any company is going to make out the digital signature then that has to follow the same encryption system the same asymmetric crypto system then only that will be valid right that means it has made it technology specific but not neutral so because many public are not in need of digital signature many of the public cannot afford digital signature also then what is the solution is that in 2009 this electronic signature has come into the picture which is technology neutral right so this is according to the unjectural modal law on e-commerce what role are included in the electronic signature so now this is the list which is specified in the it act but it is very much inclusive some more authentication procedures may be coming up they may also be included in this we have to wait and watch so for that purpose only this list whatever is being given in the it act is not exhaustive list it is an inclusive list right so some of them are otps so otp is nothing but one time password right even pins and passwords which will be used in our uh, in our so many transactions like when you are opening gmail when you are opening your mobile when you are opening a particular app every time whatever the password you are authenticating that it's you who are doing it right in the next is biometric identifiers biometric identifiers are nothing but 
the identifiers of like eyeball recognition, face recognition, fingerprint recognition and also the digital signature had been also made as a part in the electronic signature. So what is the position now? Whatever the dealing or whatever the transaction with regard to the online, you will be using either of these things which is valid authentication according to IT Act. Clear? Right? So, this is about the digital signature legal aspects. So, please make sure that you share this video to people whoever are in need of the subject. Right? Thank you. Namaste.